Capricorn, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for October 2022. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So Capricorn, here we are coming into October. Months are flying by. Oh, cards are all flying around too. <laughs> Overall, you have the Queen of Pentacles. It is reversed here. So feeling like a lot of your hard work isn't paying off here at the moment. Um, not seeing these results that you may have wanted. We do clarify everything shortly. You haven't got many reversals, actually. Present energies, King of Cups, love this. Being in control of your emotions here, crossed with the Princess of Wands. Very compassionate, very giving, very emotionally stable here. If somebody's asking for some help here, I feel like you are ready to step up and just come in and bring that support when needed. Strength area, you do have the Seven of Wands. There is something here that you're persisting with, even though this result at the moment may not feel like it's working in your favor. Um, you're not giving up, you're not quitting. It does take strength in your area here, but there is that persistence. Maybe not giving up, not quitting on yourself. It may be on a situation at hand, somebody else close to you, especially with your present energies there. Focus area, it is the Seven of Cups, upright, two sevens right there, but um, options, exploring your options, always say, not taking the repeat patterns, even though everybody does, first one that looks good. It's not been overwhelmed by the options that are available, but being able to take a step back and even take a deep breath and have a look at what each and every one of those cups do actually have to offer even if you have to dig really deep to see what some of them have at the bottom of that cup there past energies another queen and it's reversed as well if I could pick it up <laughs> in the past queen of swords something might have needed a bit of a tough approach in the past and i feel like you actually did take a step back and not be as direct as you may have needed to be in the past kind of a doormat situation i've got to say but that is in the past energies incoming energy the hierophant could be dealing with a taurus here outside pressure just following your own heart following your gut instinct following your beliefs um, and not caving into that peer pressure maybe a bit of meddling somebody's trying to tell you to do something in a certain way and it may not be agreeable to you and in the past where you may have caved to that peer pressure but now it's coming in here and it's it's time to stand up and be look here this is how it is kind of energy what you need to know you do have the hanged one here a decision does need to be made one way or the other maybe that you are sitting on the fence waiting for someone else to make their mind up about something it may be bringing this energy in overall for the month here but um you may be a bit tired of waiting of the waiting game ready to make a decision yourself and cut yourself free from that i how others see you four of swords needing some time out for yourself to look after number one we talked about your present energies being very compassionate very giving when somebody needs your help but you also do need to look after number one some self-healing here time to rejuvenate take a deep breath and um, to get things going in this next chapter may it straight away be able to come out rejuvenated and start to get some results in your favor there hopes and fears prince of wands it is reversed and again i feel like um something is throwing you off your direct path here you know where you want to be heading towards 
but there's something or someone that keeps coming in and pulling you off that path and you've got to spend time to get that sorted out before you can come back to where you were actually heading towards interesting there Capricorn but your final outcome judgment always say don't judge others don't let others judge you it does work both ways but keep an open mind where to where's where is this path actually taking you and do you need to keep getting pulled off to go and do something else um, here when you may be able to just focus on where you are heading interesting for an underlying reading there capricorn but as i said we will clarify everything here starting with the queen of pentacles reversed overall for the month you get death ace of swords the devil could be dealing with another capricorn or scorpio here being able to let the past in the past clear the crap out and have a fresh new start clean slate there's some sort of negative energy that is still lingering here and hanging around and feel it's this one that keeps pulling you off that direct path as i mentioned and um, it's taking a bit to cut free from that energy there and it also makes this queen of pentacles reversed where um, this energy is still hanging around wow so present energies king of cups much needed here justice nine of pentacles queen of wands yeah just keeping in control of your emotions here may bring you that success towards you that sweet justice that good result for the work that you put in here good karma possibly it may be um, a karmic energy that is around this justice here but it gives you this renewed confidence and determination now of where you are heading and that determination it's like oh i got this and um brilliant with that princess of wands crossing there you get the sun the moon brilliant i love it when those two come out together and the hermit three major arcanas could be dealing with pisces or virgo when you have that light at the end of the tunnel doing some soul searching you've got 24 7 illumination i usually say with the sun and the moon together Okay, as the sun down, go, comes down, the moon comes up. As the moon comes back down, the sun comes up. So it is illumination with that light at the end of the tunnel to show you that um, path that you're on, that karmic path possibly. Brilliant, loving that to the max. Strength area, seven of wands. You get the two of swords two of wands ace of cups there's a new chapter here when it comes to love somebody is not giving up and not quitting on getting this new chapter off the ground still may be an existing relationship it may be somebody extremely brand new but capricorn there's a decision that needs to be made and there's a bit of confusion around this decision but that persistence that in a uh, i'm doing this is still there and um, someone is determined here to get this new chapter started focus area seven of cups nine of wands ten of swords knight of cups this love that is on offer here confident the two of you do make a good team you do have options to explore again whether it's um around love maybe but also around work around home a painful cycle that is ending you fought and fought and fought here to get onto solid ground and to overcome a lot of obstacles and bring an end to some sort of painful journey cycle that you have been on here but um you may be offering this love to someone they may be offering love to you it is just still saying clarifying that seven of cups you do still have some options here to look at whether it's together whether it's solo um, but those options may be bringing an end to that painful cycle past energies queen of swords reversed knight of wands the empress eight of wands instead we're mentioning this one reversed same energy um 
determination to stay on board. Everybody has been throwing things at you to throw you off course here, but you have been aware of that, which may be that first step to regaining that control over where you are heading, that focus of where you're going. Clean, honest, open communication in the past. It may have been um, not getting the full story around some sort of situation in the past that did start to try and get things out of whack back there. But that Empress, very aware of that. Into your incoming energies, Capricorn, the Hierophants. Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, Five of Pentacles. There is success here and being able to start to move forward past this peer pressure that's been put on you. Feel like this Hierophant energy, it's actually making you feel like you're left out in the cold, ghosted, blocked. Somebody's almost saying to you, it's my way or the highway. So, for example, it's their way or the highway. And it's leaving you out in this cold energy, but this chariot is here, could be dealing with a cancer as things start to balance out and move forward to warmer energy and you do start to leave all this um, this dominant energy behind, around, that's around you, you're starting to leave that behind and there is success there and being able to move forward to warmer energy. Love that then. So what you need to know Capricorn, the hanged one. Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords. Yeah, there is a decision to be made here around love. Um, again, it may be an existing relationship. It may be somebody extremely brand new. Someone you've got your eye on there. Some very clear action, but level-headed, logical thinking before taking that action. You are putting a lot of hard work in towards something here, possibly love, And um, but there's this decision. Once this decision is made, things will seem to take off one way or the other. Wow. How others see you, Four of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, the Lovers, Queen of Cups. There's definitely love here, <laughs> so <laughs> could be dealing with a Gemini, an offer that is being made. Okay, and it may be one that's like problem shared, problem halved, and working together as a team. Soulmate Twin Flame, somebody significant um, here with this Queen of Cups as well. Proud of how far you've come emotionally. It may have been a bit of a roller coaster ride to get here, but others see you as starting to get that stability, that calmness back around you here. But it may be because of this love that is being put out here. Brilliant. Hopes and fears. Prince of Wands reversed. You get the Fool, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. yeah, you've been waiting a long time for an apology and you've got this painful cycle you're closing off back here. Feel it further back from that and that apology has been waiting and waiting and waiting, hence this waiting game down here as well. It may never arrive that apology and it's just getting things back on track and I feel like you are getting to this point of making this decision and taking a leap of faith and just going for it, jumping in two feet and all as they say. Um, to get this new chapter off the ground because you have this focus and um, I think you're a bit sick and tired of the waiting game here. So your final outcome, judgments. Wow, these flew out and there is three there. So judgment, you get strength, the magician and the ace of pentacles and they flew out for you. Um, could be dealing with the Leo here, manifestation, creating the magic, you know, keeping an open mind where this new journey is about to take you. It does take strength to manifest correctly and to get something off the ground to start with in those first steps. But um, that successful start is there, creating the magic, putting the pieces together, putting some plans into place and getting this happening and happening now. <laughs> Love that. Brilliant. Okay, so Capricorn, we finish with what the universe has to say. That. 
So it flew out like that. King of Wands reversed, the chariot upright, and the emperor upright. So at times when you're not feeling in control over the situation, whatever that situation is at hand, you've got the chariot, you've got the emperor. Could be dealing with Cancer or Aries here. Divine masculine energy, very brave, very confident, very logical, and able to get things moving forward and away from this energy where you feel like things start to, um, you know, you start to lose that focus here and i feel it's because of this negative energy with the devil but also because of this outside pressure that's trying to pull you off your path of where you're wanting to be wow so capricorn that is what i have for october do hope it helped thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time see ya bye